a few minutes from now, President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, will be, uh, you know, uh, also uh, jet will also be uh, leaving State House. Yeah, this I understand is the head of state uh, leaving uh, State House Nairobi. Uh, um, the First Lady left a bit earlier. Of course, the two are expected to be joining other dignitaries uh, at uh, the Uhuru Gardens uh, to celebrate the 58th Jamuhuri Day celebrations. You can see there the colorful motorcade uh, of the head of state uh, slowly making its way uh, to the venue that is hosting this year's Jamuhuri, Jamuhuri Day celebrations for the first time. So this is just pushing forward uh, the celebrations that began picking up as early as 4.30 a.m. when Kenyans uh, began uh, making their way to the Uhuru Gardens. President Uhuru Kenyatta, among the other things that he's expected to be doing today, Aside from leading the country, marking uh, this year's Jamuhuri Day celebrations, he's going also to be officially opening the recreation uh, facility, Uhuru Gardens, which is expected to be hosting not just today's event, but also other local and international events that Kenya is going to be hosting in the near future. He's also, as the uh, Commander-in-Chief of uh, uh, the Defense Forces, is going to, um, you know, being, is going to, uh, you know, uh, inspect uh, the Guard of of honor that it has been mounted at the Uhuru Gardens and of course after that we know the what we're expecting today to happen also is the trooping of the colors the head of state is going uh, to lead this particular ceremony in ensuring that the 19th Kenya Rifle Infantry Battalion is granted their regimental flag in a colorful ceremony that's uh, the trooping of the color which takes place every Jamhuri day and as soon as he arrives he's going to take the national salute and inspect uh, the guard of of honor and of course we will um, have the band play as he marches towards uh, that uh, particular uh, parade and of course we know how uh, you know the Kenya Defense Forces usually uh, take, takes us through this in a very entertaining and a rare uh, you know experience for us as a country so that motorcade there making its way to the Uhuru Gardens President Uhuru Kenyatta leading the country to mark uh, this year's Jamuhuri Day celebrations which is quite unique uh, that he's going to be doing as his last as the head of state and a lot is to be expected because um, you know he is going to lay bare what he has been able to achieve as head of state and also paint the picture on his vision for the country what he expects his successor to take up and also you know push forward um, many have you know talked of um, him being very careful about the politics that is uh, shaping this country at this particular juncture because at this uh, you know forum president Uhuru Kenyatta is going to be very careful <laughs> to leave Kenyans thinking about what um, you know he has done for the country and not the political side shows and of course it's a matter of wait and see uh, just to get to know what uh, the head of state has for the country but a lot is to be celebrated um, Kenya has made great strides as I was sharing with my panelists this morning um, you know, in terms of even elevating the status of education, um, the personnel that uh, the continent celebrates and actually, um, you know, uh, benefits from, uh, we have a very large percentage of them coming uh, from our country. And we've also talked about our health uh, sector and the boost that under the Jubilee government and even the previous governments we've been able to achieve. We know that uh, even in the international scene, we have made uh, great strides. Uh, we are celebrating even our athletes who have done us proud and uh, you know became uh, become giants in uh, holding uh, world records across the country so we may have quite a number of challenges as a country and we may have a lot of ground to cover before we have the Kenya that we all desire to have but if you look at uh, you know any space you are in right now there's a lot that is to be celebrated there are a lot of people that we celebrate so this is a day of celebrations regardless of what we have been through we, we have been through as a country so this is quite an historic you know moment for president Uhuru Kenyatta Dr. Ombogi and Dr. Churchill so okay I don't know what you think he could be going through right now as he is in that <laughs> you know <laughs> what is it that you think um, the president could be um, you know up and about doing right now or even thinking and focusing on right now <laughs> well I, I, I think is this a state of it's happiness and joy yeah. mm. Mm. and this is his moment mm. in, in, and I think uh, uh, for uh, President Kenyatta, uh, having been born, I said this earlier, uh, just at the virtue of Kenya gaining independence and rising up to where he is, 
to, to, to be what historians of the future will call Kenyatta II administration, uh, is looking back and saying, for the last 10 years I've been at the helm of this country, mm -hmm. and today is the climax. Today is uh, uh, probably the, 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 the second last day that he's going to address uh, the nation as mm -hmm. president. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll do the same thing in next year, uh, 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 Madaraka, Madaraka Day, 1st mm -hmm. June. So this being the penultimate celebration that he's going to lead the country in, uh, I'm sure he looks back and says, yes, this far I have come. I have come. Uh, this far God has led me. This far I have had good health. And this far Kenya has remained intact, uh, irrespective of the problems and the challenges mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. faced, oh, right. which are no more in any given country around the world. Mm -hmm. It is never smooth all the way. All the way. Yeah. Yeah. Shashili, if you look at um, how far we have come in terms of our governance and our leadership style, mm -hmm. and even the leadership style of President Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. what are those unique highlights that you can you can share with us? You know, I think before I even say that, I think I think that it's it's I mean this kind of moment is really a moment for reflection and I'm sure when he's seated at the back seat of his executive limousine mm. he is um, he's really um, he's really in awe of you know where the challenges maybe that he has gone through as a leader I mean one of the things that we really appreciate is that some of these people really sacrifice their life for public service mm. and and the fact that he's been able to achieve all his five-year I mean, ten-year term in office, and is now giving his last Jamhuri Day speech. Is going to officiate his last Jamhuri Day. Is pride for him. Mm. Is pride for him, and is something that he really has to. But onto onto his leadership style, I think, I think, uh, just like sort of uh, Kibaki, uh, Uhuru has been able, President Uhuru has been able to allow his cabinet to exercise their responsibility and work for the country and I think in many in many of the instances is is not been able to try to get into trying to interfere so much and having a very strong hand in in the leadership of the various cabinet uh, cabinet I mean the various ministries mm -hmm. and so that then has allowed maybe ministers to do what they're supposed to do and take responsibility to for the things that they're not able to do mm -hmm. and i think that is i mean that is something that is huge and it's also part of uh, it's also part of democracy the other thing is that you know sometimes of course he has been <laughs> whenever he's disappointed he tries to want to express it out he lays it in there <laughs> in <laughs> he does not mince his words <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you know as i said earlier he, say it, he says this, it as this it is, is uh, something uh, uh, unique in democracy yeah uh, that uh, uh, the president doesn't have his way all the time yeah uh, <coughs> if you see the frustrations uh, that uh, presidents of america go through the frustrations uh, the prime minister of britain goes through uh, it's it's never easier it, it, it is something that uh, has to come through uh, uh, you, you know trying to balance a number of interests uh, also trying to keep the country uh, stable and, and peaceful mm. uh, and also trying to ensure that uh, each and every uh, 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 you, you know social aggregate uh, that constitutes this country mm. uh, you know has uh, been failed so, so most of the time you, you see the, the the president feeling a bit uh, uh, frustrated that, that that is normal mm. in, in, <laughs> in 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 democracies mm. and that has something uh, to say about the political speech that we actually have in this country that has much more widened uh, than perhaps it was during the era of president kenyatta and and, and president moy all right yes. and, and i know any minute from now we will be crossing over to the main event at the uhuru gardens but as we, what you're watching on your screens right now is the presidential <coughs> motorcade making its way uh, its way to that particular uh, you know venue and uh, once he gets there of course we'll be handing over to our team there but as we wait for that to happen um, do you think we have appreciated of, <coughs> let, let me say to what extent have we appreciated or failed to appreciate the sacrifices that our founding fathers um, you know put in having the Kenya that we have today do you think we we, we, we are sensitive to that doctor so okay I, I, I think that uh, that is something that maybe we really need to reflect on yeah. because you see um, the issues about 
the history of our nation is something that is an inspiration that should continue to inspire generations. And I think that for even leading candidates, we must never uh, seek to forget where we have come from as a country. Well, there has been attempts uh, by, by governments to, uh, to recognize, you know, in Mashuja days, to recognize those who have, those who have worked to advance Kenya mm -hmm. in various sectors various you know in sports medicine in in politics in 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 public service and many other things and, and and i think that maybe more needs to be done so that if we are able to do it in such a manner that it inspires the generation and the mm. the, the young generation to want to get themselves into public service and not necessarily the public service of working for government but the public service that which is a, in, inclined towards nationalism mm -hmm. and patriotism then we would have achieved some aspect of appreciating where we have come from because you know when you when you look at uh, how some of the democracies uh, uh, advanced democracies have appreciated government uh, governments or, or even uh, presidents mm. or even people who have served in government you know I it is it is pretty different from how we have done it mm -hmm. and sometimes those who have served in government they get they feel out of place once they leave the service mm -hmm. and you know when they get into the communities they feel like you know what I am really out of place and you have seen some people actually coming out in public and feeling so lonely. Mm. And, and you know that kind of thing is not really very good. Because you see when I work for government, I'm like you know President Uhuru, he has enveloped his life for the public. Mm. And if we are able to appreciate that even in his exit, mm. then we will be recognizing and appreciating All that right. you know what patriotism if you work for your country well your ca your country will give back to you all right patriotism mm -hmm. nationalism big yeah. words you're using yeah. there as as we're, we're just about to to hand over um <coughs> uh, the same question but in a different <coughs> perspective uh, you know appreciating that sacrifice um going beyond just listing their names <coughs> and recognizing yes, them yes, in yes. public what else do we need to do as a country you, you see i i i, I agree with dr Tari that uh, we, we have done something in appreciating the heroes and the heroines mm. uh, who paid it uh, heavily for us to be free. Mm -hmm. uh, we have named a few roads after them. Uh, we have named a few schools yeah. after them. Uh, we have songs in, uh, we have sung songs in praise of them. But that is, that's not good enough. Yeah. In my view, the best appreciation we can do for uh, the freedom fighters of this country is to do the things that they aspired uh, to, to achieve. The things that made them to say enough is enough. Some of them carry guns, go to the bush and fight. This uh, includes uh, things like equal distribution of the resources of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, includes things like justice and, 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 and fairness. Mm. Uh, includes things like, um, uh, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of association, mm. freedom of uh, 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 practicing our politics without any encumbrances uh, that we have. All right. The question is, have we done that? Have we? The question is yes and no. All right. Yes, because um, <laughs> they aspired to a country that will be intact, mm. I'm sure, 56 year, 58 years later. Mm. Uh, we, we are still free in some ways. Uh, they aspired for a country where there is majority mm. uh, as, as, African. As, as we, we, we wrap it up. Uh, as we la uh, wrap it up. Uh, majority African leadership. But there are aspects where we have failed. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we still have large parts of the country today uh, wallowing in the quagmire of poverty, All in right. the state of poverty, if I may run away from using that B word, mm. in the state of poverty. Uh, people dying of basic diseases. Uh, you know, the honor that we mm. can do to these men and women who fought for us to be free is actually to achieve 
the okay. things they aspired for. Okay, Dr. Kenneth Mbogi, sorry to cut it short, but I understand we now have to hand over to our team on the ground. Dr. Kenneth Mbogi and Dr. Churchill Saoke have been helping me unpack the expectations ahead of the 58th Jamuhuri Day celebrations. And right now, President Uhuru Kenyatta is uh, making his way to the venue, the Uhuru Gardens, right here in Nairobi. And at this particular uh, juncture, I want to hand over to my colleague Kamche Menza to take it up from here. Kamche, it's over to you. Nam shukran mwenzangu Safin Acheng Ouma kutoka hapo studio sisi hapa uwanja ama bustani ya uhuru basi tuko tisti na huku mbwembwe ndio zimeshika kasi sherehe ambazo ni sherehe za hamsini na nane za jamhuri uh, za nchi hii ya Kenya ambapo tunaendelea kuadhimisha siku hii kwa mbwembwe uh, na shambra shambra hapa bustani ya uhuru ambapo safin kama mlivyokuwa mnazungumza huko studio basi ni historia nyingine ambayo itakuwa inawekwa hapa manake tunaweza sema ni mara ya pili kwa jamu rehisi za jamhuri kuandaliwa hapa hususan bustani hii ya uhuru kwa maana yake hii nazungumza hivi ni kwamba mwaka 1163 basi ndipo